friends, Mark Spade here. As always, hope this video finds you well. Hope that you are enjoying a warm pipe, a favorite blend, and a comfy chair. I myself am smoking out of my Tibbles head. And in it, Presbyterian Reformation. I'm really becoming quite fond of this one. Today's video is not so much about pipe smoking as it is about the topic, uh, which is observations. I've been talking to my son. We're reading a book uh, every night before bed <clears throat> called The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho. Uh, it's a Brazilian author. The book has something for everybody, I think. And I, I mean that in a lot of ways. I think it's a... I think it's a very important book. One of the central themes is, uh, is observations, right? Being able to make conscious observations of the world around you all the time and understanding what that... what each thing really means and how it can help to facilitate uh, one's real journey in life. So the book, the, the, the main character, the protagonist is a boy from Spain named Santiago. Santiago is a shepherd. He, uh, he travels all around Andalusia and tends to his sheep. Well, he has bigger dreams, right? His dream was to travel. And his bigger dream becomes really centered around this recurring dream, which is finding some form of treasure in the pyramids of Egypt. And well, he ends up going on a quest for that. He's in somewhat of a port city in Spain. Ends up meeting an interesting character named Melchizedek. And it's no accident at all that his name is Melchizedek. But Santiago ends up talking to Melchizedek for some time. Melchizedek kind of reveals to him what it is that he's really looking for in life and tells him that it's possible to find it. And it's at that point, well, you know, Melchizedek's really the hermit of this story. Every, every hero's journey has a hermit, some kind of sage-like character that orients the protagonist in the right direction, whether with, you know, typically with a little bit of geography and, and a whole lot of moral guidance, a whole lot of, uh, well, he's quested by the hermit, you know, and that's really what Melchizedek serves for Santiago is that role. There's a lot more to talk about with this story, but the focus here is observations in this conversation between Santiago and Melchizedek, where Melchizedek leaves him with a story. He says, there was a boy whose father sent him on a, on a quest, essentially, to consult the wisest man in the world and ask him what the meaning of life is. And this boy goes to this mountaintop where there's this beautiful castle, and he's there to meet his hermit. When he gets there, the, the the courtyards of the castle, everything is just teeming with life. There's vendors everywhere. There's people everywhere, and this wisest man is talking to each person that is at his estate. And well, when it's finally the boy's turn, he he explains his reason for being there, asks him the question, "What is the meaning of life?" And the wise man says, "Oh, it's it's going to take some time." Why don't you uh, 
once you take this spoon, he puts two drops of oil in the spoon, says, hold on to this, and just explore. Don't spill a drop, but just explore, and, and I'll be back in two hours, and we can talk then. So the boy does. He's fo focused on, on not spilling the oil. Two hours goes up, comes back to the wise man, and says, you know, hey, I'm here, I've, I've explored around, and you know, I didn't spill a drop. So that's good, but did you did you notice the all the paintings on the walls and ceilings? Did you notice the the garden that took a master gardener ten years to create? Did you notice the mountain ranges that surround this castle? And the boy was a bit ashamed, you know, he says, No. He says, Well this time take two hours and observe that and come back to me. So he does. And he comes back after two hours and he describes in detail all the wonderful things that he saw in the last two hours. And then the wise man says, where's your oil? Look, spilled it. And he says, well, all I can tell you is this. The meaning of life is to observe everything around you, but don't spill the oil. For me, that's, there's a lot of ways that you can unpack that. I think first and foremost, you know, if you look at the oil as truth, right? The truth that, that this boy is searching for. You have to hold on to the truth and still be able to observe and appreciate all the beautiful things around you and how they all work together. Now, the greater story of the alchemist, I'd like to talk about that more another time, but it is. It's about the refining process, that inner alchemy that we can all study and, 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 and apply to our lives to live a better life, to find our own magnum opus. And it's, you find yourself, if you do that in conjunction with this, this hero's journey, really leads to self-discovery, self-awareness, awareness of your greater purpose, the reason for your being here, what role can you fill, observing my own life, I see times where I could have filled a role in someone else's hero's journey, or, or, or could have received differently an interaction with somebody or something, some obstacle right? that could have facilitated my hero's journey, so to speak. So I think if we take some time to, to observe the world around us and start looking for those omens, start looking for the things in life that propel us forward. And appreciating each moment for the big things going on and the small things going on. Becoming more in tune. I think that we would all greatly benefit from that. I know I have greatly benefited from the more I learn about this process over the last seven years or so. observe, right? Now to kind of change a bit, this, this tobacco and, and pipe is really, really solidified for me that I need to talk about this kind of stuff more on the channel. This pipe, since I've had it, I've had it for a while now, and since I've had it, I've not been able to find a blend that I just enjoy out of this pipe. Even, even when I know I enjoy the blend. Putting it in this pipe, it's not been so good. 
likewise for Presbyterian Reformation when I tried it about a year ago or so did not like it it just it wasn't very good you know it, it, it I don't know just wasn't working but now in this pipe for whatever reason the two are working together swimmingly I mean it's wonderful to have found two things really weren't working that I that I liked that or I wanted to like you know and now they've really found each other and everything's come together quite nicely to the point where I think now I don't really want to smoke much of anything else probably just Burley's you know out of this pipe but uh, really sticking closer to this Presbyterian Reformation which I have a couple tips of. smoking it at work I'm actually at work right now I'm taking a little break and I've uh, been smoking it at work and it made me think too you know I'm really enjoying this blend I'm enjoying this pipe I, I love the aesthetic of this pipe you know with the thick walls and I don't know it's just got a classic look to it that I enjoy it's light it's plenty clinchable you know it's just a good solid pipe and I'm able to enjoy this pipe and the blend so much so while I'm still doing other things, you know, talking to people that come up or talking to the, the the owner of the property, you know, and stuff like that. And I'm able to do all this the last couple of days while still enjoying this pipe, while still not spilling my oil. Right? And maybe I'm romanticizing a bit. I probably, I do, I do. I, I over... I over apply things like philosophy and and my faith to stuff I guess but I, I think that view of the world is well it's a good one to have so anyway I hope that you're able to find something in this story useful and I really hope that the street sweeper didn't really drown out my audio too bad but anyway hope you enjoyed it let me know uh, what you think about the topic. Let me know what you've been able to observe in your own life. Let's 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 shift the conversation a little bit, uh, at least for this video. You know, less about pipes, and granted, if you like this blend or this pipe, let's talk about that. But one thing I really enjoy about talking to people over a pipe is the depth of conversation that you can get sometimes. So, with that, I'm Mark Spade. Thanks for watching.